Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this brand new episode of Editing Your Photos, the series in which I edit your photos. Today I have some pretty cool photos, so um, if you want to send yours for the next episode, make sure to send them to bennysubmissions at gmail.com. Then let's not waste any more time today. Our first picture was sent in by Patrick and his message. My buddy and I took some photos in Madeira. I wanted to Photoshop a Star Wars fight out of them. I figured you'd be the best at it. I've been working with Photoshop for four years and could really learn a thing or two from you. Just pick what fits best for the picture. Greetings from Germany. So I can see why Star Wars doesn't necessarily fit in with the uh, alien theme but if you think about it in a galaxy far far away that technically does make any person from Star Wars an alien so uh, yeah let's get started Let's not waste any time and get straight into it. Here we have our beautiful picture. So I'm gonna put it right about like that. And then I'm gonna have to mask these guys out because, because. So that is gonna take a shit ton of time. Three, two, one, yeet. That's freaking beautiful. So then I can put these guys anywhere I want because they're, you know. <laughs> At this point, I don't think I'm human. Um, let's, uh, let's go and use this as the ground they're standing on. Whoop, something like that. Then first, let's get rid of this person because we don't need it. Shift, backspace, and boom, gone. Actually, I'm gonna use quick selection because I really don't feel like putting in all that effort. So then we can put these guys sort of on there because I feel like this will actually, that fits. It's almost too perfect. And then this guy, this just fits way too well. Something has to go wrong at some point. Then for the background, I have this, but I think it's gonna be a bit vague in the background because I have a pretty clear idea in my mind and it doesn't really involve a visible background. But anyway, I'm gonna try and maybe flipped. It's maybe better. Something like that should do it. Okay, so let's see. Clearly the light is coming from the right. So I gotta at least sort of replicate that on these two guys. So I'm just gonna make his back a little brighter in the back of his pants. Then let's try to match the colors a tiny bit. Then down here it should be a bit darker since it's blocked by the sun. And of course a shadow on the ground below him because that's what makes it look like he's actually standing on the ground. There. Seems pretty good to me. So then I gotta do the same thing to this other guy. Some more shadows. Now before I'm gonna do anything else I'm gonna get rid of these sticks because what the heck are these? And I'll replace them with sabers. There you go. I'm gonna rotate it right about uh, there. Then it's the same for this guy. However, this guy actually has all this stuff going on, which is a bit tricky, but we can make it work. I'll just copy this area. There you go. That works. And then I have this, which I'm gonna put right in his hand instead. And I still think it's gonna look a bit weird, but who cares? There you go. Something like that. I guess something like that isn't bad. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. So then it's time for the most epic thing the blades so I'm gonna try and make a uh, sort of an accurate shape it's hard to tell how long they should be but I'm just gonna first make them too long because I can always make them shorter make a new solid color make it white there you go freaking beautiful I feel like this should be about the right length I think and then I can just copy it rotate it and put it on the other one but so now who has which color does this guy look like a bad guy or him I feel like this should be the bad guy no offense by the way so then I just gonna make it nice and red and then of course a very nice red glow around it there you go pretty cool and this guy is getting a blue one at a blue glow so now what highlights of course, ye ye ye. just here and there, kind of just reflecting the red light. Ooh, that does look nice. Then the same goes for the other guy, except now it's blue. I'm gonna try to make the ground look a bit more volcanic, because I think that might look really cool in this case. Something like that, maybe? And a little red on the ground, maybe? That could look pretty nice. Does it? How about some mist? Just all over the place. Very, Very nice. nice. And a bit right here. That does create a bit of atmosphere. Now that I say it like that, what if I just add a whole bunch of like haze 
to the background creating atmosphere down here just all over the place to really make it nice and hazy that is actually pretty cool i'm also gonna add some haze right here see how nice that is also on this side and since this guy's saber is blue too i might as well just make this blue and then it is time for some more highlights because we did not have enough already i mean that's pretty cool what if i now make the background darker the lightsabers look better and more vibrant clearly because the darker the background the better they look and then if i make these areas a little brighter that could actually look pretty cool yeah that is pretty cool then maybe some particles actually in this case even though it's a lot it still kind of looks nice then i might as well just copy this flip it and make it red you know let's just go and add a camera raw filter because i just really want to know what this is gonna look like and maybe i get new ideas once i see that who knows i love the color mixer so much something like that should do it i think maybe something else comes to mind but uh if not i'm pretty sure this is it on to the next one. So at the end I made two versions, the normal one and one with red and I'm honestly I think I like the previous one better because I don't know, some reason. Anyway thank you very much for sending in your picture I'll send this back to you when I get the chance. Our next photo for today is from Tija, I hope I pronounced that right This is Tija from India. I have been watching your videos and became a big fan The way you design is awesome. I'm sending you some pictures you can edit in whatever way you want. Lots of love Thank you. That is a very cool picture, but I'm not gonna include the motorbike because I honestly refuse to do any more motorbike photos. You guys keep sending me these and so I'm sorry, but I am gonna get rid of it. Now let's go and edit this photo. So here we are once again in Photoshop. I already cut this guy out because that's incredibly boring to watch. But for this one, I think it would be really cool if we put him in some sort of really weird eerie forest, like an alien forest. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So first of all, I have uh, this one right here. I'm gonna hide this guy real quick. Then I've got this, which also is extremely, extremely nice. Is this one, which I can put behind those. I guess. First, I want to smudge these together. I'm just gonna go and remove some areas. So this is the kind of thing I'm aiming for. Okay, so this is a lot easier than I thought. Now this river is coming out of nowhere though, but that doesn't matter because artistic freedom. Then I'm just gonna mask this one out. Then for the background, I've got this and I think this might look pretty cool in the end. There you go, that's pretty cool. Then we've got our boy right there. Then let's put them in the grass and then let's add some shadows right about there. Actually, maybe this should go more like... So for the background, I have this one, which I think looks freaking beautiful and it even kind of already matches. Then to finish the top of the sky, I have another sky, which I can put right up there, fade it out. And there you go. And then a little darker up here. So I'd say that is pretty decent for a base. So my idea is to put some sort of really big mushrooms in this landscape. As if it's some sort of alien planet like I said earlier. So for that I have this. It is beautiful. This can be like the trunk of the uh, mushroom. And then I will of course mask it out again. I feel like this may actually work. And then whoop. Awesome. There. And if I then remove this I'm pretty sure that looks amazing. Amazing. Amazing might be a bit of a big word, but no matter what, I will make it work. I think if I just add a little more green and yellow to it, it might already look a little bit better. And some shadows down here. So then I'll make this look just a bit more natural because this is this is horrible. Something like that. And then like you've probably already guessed, these right here are also going to be sort of the same thing. So maybe if I just move this one right over here. I may be able to give it that same sort of structure. That works. Wow. I like that a lot. Then I'm gonna put the top on there because clearly, I mean, it's not a mushroom right now. Freaking beautiful. Which I can put right on top. It's gonna be a super unique thing. I feel like it would look better if it's higher. There you go. That's cool. Just kind of guessing here what works best. I would say that is not even that bad. Now, of course, this is absolutely hideous. So let's make this 
just a lot darker some more contrast get rid of the red as well there you go then the inside should be super dark some shadows on here as well it's a bit rough but we are getting something here and i think later i might add some nice lighting stuff under there but i'm not sure yet i'm uh, gonna leave that for later and the top here can be a little brighter that is one massive as much room right there then i'm curious what happens if i just copy this whole thing to the other side this one should be a little lighter though yeah for now this should be pretty decent now i'm going to add a whole lot of mist or haze or whatever the heck you want to call it because i think that will make because i think that will really help sell this sort of environment the eerie vibe it has or it's supposed to have something like that however of course these two in the background should also have uh, the top so i'm gonna do that really quick okay that was extremely easy there's a freaking wasp in my room shoe go away no, it's gone now. Guys, isn't this freaking epic? Now let's work on the foreground because it's been looking ugly for way too long now. This is honestly unlike anything I've ever made. It's pretty cool. So for the color, this is actually not even that bad, I think. There's just a bit too much contrast. And some more haze on the foreground as well. Maybe even a darker one down here. I would say that's pretty decent for now. So if we add the subject back, this is looking hideous but if i would just copy the same stuff right up here yeah that it's definitely better already now i'm just first gonna add some highlights because uh right now the lighting just isn't really doing it and of course this is all a bit bright but i will adjust that later and right here maybe a bit of glow in the sky just a tiny bit i love how hazy it is look at that it's like super soft in the background i think it's a wonderful idea to put some uh, highlights or not really highlights but just lighter areas to help sell the kind of depth on the trunk as well just some highlights here and there not too much that is looking pretty decent okay i'm gonna try something the chance of failure is uh extremely high this better work mm, okay we need a little more something like that should do it then one shall add some glow i am loving this for some reason it also really fits the rest of the theme like so now i just gonna do the same thing to this one yeah that's actually pretty nice so now what what else could I add? How about we make this water blue? I mean like artificially blue, like this is not actually water blue. Something like that I think might look pretty cool. And add some of this. That's pretty cool. Like it's weird, but it's pretty cool. Let's go and see what I can turn this into in camera raw. Honestly, I'm really surprised by how this one turned out. First of all, it's daytime. I don't do that a lot. Something like that. Yo, look at that. That instantly gives it this whole other vibe. So I may or may not add some more stuff here and there to kind of finalize the final little things, but I think it is pretty much finished. So uh, yeah. And there you go. Very nice. I'll make sure to send this back ASAP. Then the final one for today was sent in by Akarsh. Once again, I hope I pronounced that right. Hey Benny, I'm Akarsh and I'm a big fan. I'd love to see what you can do with this photo. I'm curious too. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, I am gonna make the final one for today. Starting with our beautiful picture. There it is. And obviously I'm gonna have to mask this one out again. Yes, so I'm just gonna go all over the edge one last time today and then uh, hopefully that will look magnificent. Freaking beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Delete that. Absolutely beautiful. So then it is pretty obvious what this is gonna be. Uh, there's only really one thing that this could possibly be. Ladies and gentlemen, a UFO. I'm gonna put it right about uh, somewhere up there. Something like that. And then, so this one is gonna be really just simplistic and really simple. There's not gonna be a lot, but it's just gonna look very nice and cinematic. So first, just like the Benji and Frederick poster, I'm gonna make this very nice and white just like so because this is where the light is going to be coming from and it's all just too perfect to be true because as you can see the light is coming from above on him as well so i barely even have to do highlights and maybe like an outer glow something like that could look pretty cool and then now it's really just making another really nice bright glow again actually this is very similar to the poster i made i'm so incredibly original and then maybe some mist to give it some sort of atmosphere very nice very nice that is starting to look uh, quite cool i think it would look a little more realistic if there's some some glow on top of him as well yep that is definitely better then the ufo can use some levels let's see what works something like that should probably do it and i can also erase the edge to make sure that it really like 
fades out into darkness, you know what I mean? That just looks super epic and super cool and super cinematic. Look at that. I mean, look at that. If that ain't the most beautiful thing you have ever seen, I keep saying that, don't I? Yalla la, look, some nice glows on these as well. I mean, look at that. It's coming together so nicely. Should I increase the highlights? I mean, probably. Pretty nice. And then here and there, I'm just gonna make them a bit more visible. Now, what else could I possibly add. Oh, I know. Particles. And then softly paint some of these guys back. Not that much. Benjamin, just a little. A little bit down here. To give it even more atmosphere. I mean... It, I I'm wondering what would happen if I just add some random stuff like flying leaves and shit. My gut tells me that that actually might look pretty nice. So let's just go ahead and try. Then they should be a little darker though. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. If you zoom out far enough, it looks nice. Then maybe a twig somewhere there and another one some highlights on those i'm actually starting to like this and so by the way right now it doesn't really have any color whatsoever i mean the only color there is is this little guy and his shirt but uh that's gonna come later when i'm gonna do the camera raw filter and stuff so don't worry it's gonna look very nice and cinematic and stuff but uh not yet oh hell yeah nice little highlight honestly i don't know like the idea is nice but i'm not sure if it really fits but uh, other than that i'm not really sure what else to add so i'm just gonna go and add a camera raw filter that made me way too happy let's go to filter camera raw filter and hopefully this is where it gets pretty because so far there's barely any color i hope that i can bring in some down here see there you go that's where the color comes in see this is what i'm talking about instantly there's just a lot more warmth color and just good stuff i wouldn't really know what else to add or change so i'm just gonna say that this one is now finished so yeah back to the studio and there's the final thing thank you very much for sending your photo i'll make sure to send it back to you asap so these are the photos i did today if you want to send yours make sure to send it to benny submissions at gmail.com do note that is not my business email that's another one so and also if you want to have an extra big chance of seeing your photo in these videos make sure it's in line with the theme of next month which is going to be revealed at the beginning of july then i guess that's it for today if you like this video make sure to leave a like and a comment and if you enjoy my overall content feel very free to subscribe it would mean the world to me and also hit that bell then i hope i'll see you in my next video